Just 20 years ago, skateboarding was illegal in Vancouver, but since then, the city has created a skateboard strategy, built nine public skate parks, and is currently designing citywide skate infrastructure in consultation with the community. So how did a group of people, once excluded from urban space, become so integrated? My ethnographic research employs the use of photo voice and semi-structured interviews to study the perspective of skaters in order to gain insight about why they skateboard and how their individual and collective experiences influence their urban preferences. My research argues that the very existence of the urban skate park exemplifies the process of inclusivity. My findings indicate that skateboarding is an accessible activity that defies social barriers. It transcends race, income, and gender, and has allowed for a cohesive community that, since inception, has consistently rallied together despite difference to enact change. Designing public space for all remains a priority for city planners, and there's a lot to learn from the history of urban skateboarding that can shift how we approach inclusivity in the urban realm.